You guys heard plenty of the feedback that the creators gave to Jagex regarding the skill, but you didn't hear all of it, and especially the more niche small things that you might find interesting, a lot of people haven't mentioned really because they're not that interesting for a big big review video, but are very interesting for a full on feedback video. So let's talk about it. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Javelric and today I wanted to be talking about the feedback that I gave to Jagex regarding the playtesting of Necromancy from the tutorial to combat and some miscellaneous bugs and just in general feedback that I think could be really, really good for the skill. My main focus was really the experience of a not informed player, aka a spacebar warrior and a person with visual impairments because I do have a visual impairment myself, but we'll get more into that later. I do want to put a little disclaimer. I told all these feedback points to Jagex as well, so it's not just me making a video and then being like, hopefully they change it. They're aware of all these things. If they're going to be implemented and changed, hopefully so. They seem very susceptible to it, so we will have to wait and see till the release. But if you're going to enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. Subscribe if you're new as well. There's still some necromancy content coming like the video of my trip, so you definitely don't want to miss it. Subscribe, ring the bell notification so you will not miss any videos. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the feedback, and maybe you already have some feedback yourself d just judging from the trailer which is a bit a bit more difficult but yeah i'm very curious to see what you guys think also follow me on twitch i'm live every single day at 5 p.m game time over twitch.tv forward slash developer rs and without further ado let's get into the video so i kind of want to go through this chronologically and kind of give you my mindset and my thoughts behind the piece of feedback that i gave and just my way of approaching it i want to be going over the tutorial a little bit of combat but mainly the miscellaneous feedback because i feel like that's where the most interesting things really pop up but we have to start at the start which is the tutorial and i got some comments in my last video regarding me spacebar worrying through it and obviously they put the dialogue there for people to read and to understand the skill and that's a fair point i completely agree with what you're saying but here's the thing I struggle with reading dialogue as it is on my own monitor and my own settings, etc. I was playing on a different setup where I struggled a little bit more. I could read it, but it was very intensive for me to read, which made me think, hey, a lot of people spacebar warriors through dialogue. Let's see how necromancy functions as a skill that is designed around the idea of everyone should be able to play it and this should be the most accessible skill and way to play combat in RuneScape possible. So will it be accessible when you spacebar warrior through it? And as you, if you've seen my reveal video, you know that that's not the case. Because quite frankly, the game doesn't even teach you combat in the tutorial to begin with. And that's a very big point of feedback that all the creators gave. It's like it really focused on the rituals, but it barely focused on the combat aspect. And it is a combat skill. So one of the pieces of feedback that I gave, but also other creators gave, is have us do more combat in the tutorial itself. Because... Quite frankly, as I said, it's not really explained. Like one of the um, ideas that my crew had in combination with Josh, Josh Strive Hayes had an idea of, hey, we couldn't all find the shop. Let's have a yellow trail there, which you obviously have in tutorial quests and stuff. And then when you get to the shop, you might encounter some ghoul or some enemy, right? And then you have to use your new abilities to take it on. But when you have your new ability, like the Finger of Death, which you need to build stacks for, you will be able to see it that it's lit up, which was feedback from my crew. And that way you teach combat in the tutorial, you teach how stacks work, and you teach how big abilities work. And you know, okay, if I stack up, I do big damage, that's maybe something I should use. Plus we found a shop, plus we did combat in the tutorial. There's everything in one completely fixed which i think is really good and it would be really sick to see that in the game but regarding the rituals though there was also no explanation for the storage quest the reward chest and even the random events like the storage quest and the reward chest are very easily fixed in my opinion and the feedback that i gave is give us force tutorials like we had with archaeology where you just click on them it's like hey you completed a uh, ritual so here there's your rewards are in the reward chest go click on it and then you click on it you take it out and I'm like oh you have them in your inventory now if you don't want to fill up your bank go put them in the storage chest which is next to it and then you're like oh okay that's a reward chest that's storage chest fixed we all know it and the random events as well like there's these random events that pop up during your rituals but they don't pop up during your first rituals and they're kind of intuitive because when you click on them you stop with your ritual so I was kind of thinking of like, wait, were these things just spawning here just in general? Or are they spawning because my ritual is going on? Like, 
what is the reason? They are obviously spawning because of the ritual, but it's not really told to you or shown to you at all, really. And I think that's definitely something um, they should teach you in the tutorial of like hey if you stop your ritual and click on these monsters yeah you will get more experience because you interact with it and i think that would be a great great fix another little thing in the tutorial as well is like a bigger interface for the tech tree when it's explained and a bit of a better text contrast which is currently purple on teal and trust me it was very difficult to read i could read it but I can imagine if you struggle with color blindness or just in general with just seeing colors brightly because that's a different struggle as well. Uh, that would probably be very difficult. But another piece of feedback that I think was very important regarding tutorial, just in general guidance within the skill, is an NPC that you could talk to and be like, hey, what do I have to do again? Even if they just say like, oh, maybe you should try and do some more rituals or hey, have you tried to take on some monsters in the world? to uh, test your skills of necromancy or something like something like that there's nothing like i literally was done with the tutorial because obviously i didn't read anything because that's the way i wanted to test it and they were really happy i did that by the way um they i just didn't know what to do i was like okay so is, is is do i need to do rituals now because that's kind of how necromancy was explained to me because obviously space will warrior through it and there's no combat really in the tutorial so Hey, uh, is necromancy just doing rituals and that's when you train it up and then you use it in combat? Like, it's not clear enough. Obviously, I understood that you could take on monsters. That's probably the best way to kill it. But there are some people that will not understand it. And you need to really try and see this from a perspective of someone that has never played the game, doesn't understand what RuneScape is about. And with just this tutorial, they probably think, oh, well, necromancy is just taking on mobs. Uh, sorry, it's just doing rituals and then you eventually take on mobs. But it's not really explained that you can train it by taking on monsters um when it comes to combat though there's not much really feedback that i gave because i didn't really focus on it for reasons because of there being actual pvmers there like was he drs guy and obviously the god himself evil lucario who spent the entire first day in dummies which i think was hilarious um because he just wanted to test things bro an absolute goat right there but yeah the only thing that i really had it was the thing that my crew said is with the ability when it like flashes up after you build stacks if that will be implemented that there there's also an audio cue for example the first two attacks will have a certain sound and the third one will have a slightly different but very distinctive sound so you know okay that sound has been and now i can use my big ability and now for the interesting feedback that I was able to give and the more miscellaneous and I think the more fun feedback in general because all of this you've probably heard before but the miscellaneous things that just happened whilst testing things are quite funny and at least to me are very interesting because for example during one of the quests the ritual side said that I didn't have to correct runes even though the runes that I was needing to have for the quest according to the quest guide I had there but apparently so the text that was in the quest guide said that it was the wrong rune so for example i needed rune a from the quest guide which was on the floor but in reality i needed rune b so i wasn't able to continue on but i was able to figure it out because well there was only one other rune that i created so i was like well let's just test it and see if that works and hey ho it did work which i think was quite funny it was just an interface bug and it, it was interesting to see those types of things because usually when things release at least i never figure these things out i know they happen but uh, yeah, I, I didn't see it and I gave them that as feedback. Another thing is when I entered the runecrafting altar, which I unfortunately cannot show because of the NDA I'm still under, um, it had a very funky click box. Like, um, it's like this big thing that you can click on to enter the runecrafting altar, but there was only like a small part that you could click on. And I was like, why? I mean, RuneScape has a lot of funky click boxes, but that was definitely one of them. And it was really funny to see. Um, another quest as well uh, was stuck. And you couldn't continue the quest, at least from the point of view from the quest log. It said that you had to do two different tasks that you could go about it for doing um, the progression of your quest. So task A and task B. I chose to do task A and eventually when I finished it and I did everything I needed to do and opened my quest log to see what I needed to do next, which was going back to an NPC. Um, it still said that I needed to do it and it said that I didn't do anything, that I still had to do either task A or task B. But when I went back to the NPC, I was just able to continue on with the quest and finish it, which was very interesting to see. And that's definitely a visual bug. And I'm pretty sure now I think about it, I didn't even tell them about this. So I might have to tell them about this bug. I will send them a message after this. But yeah, that's uh, that was definitely something funny or something else. You couldn't scroll down and stay scroll down in the ritual list. Eventually when... 
we were able to unlock everything and go to 120 and just test out combat and stuff. Um, I just wanted to look at the ritual list to see what's there. But when you scroll down, it automatically scrolled up again, which is also not supposed to happen. It should stay scrolled down, which was quite funny to see. And another piece of feedback just in general that I gave as well is I would love, and obviously I don't know if that's the case, but I would love if there were more ritual sites. I think ritual sites are a big part of the skill. I do believe that combat OZ is, the, well, I don't believe, I know that combat is the biggest part of the skill, right? But being just at one ritual site became kind of stale and maybe that's me just being spoiled from archaeology where you constantly go to a different area this new thing to explore but i really hope that in the future they do add more ritual sites that you can do your rituals at and that they actually have like certain purposes and that it might be a trade-off to do a certain ritual site versus another ritual site maybe because at one ritual site you get more experience but the rituals are more difficult or they are you know they give less rewards and at the other one you go there you get more rewards and you get more from you more get, kind of get more bang for your buck kind of but you get less experience so there's like a good trade-off between ritual sites i think that could be really really cool and something that i hope they implement i don't know if that's even implemented that could be there obviously we only saw the first 20 levels of trading so who knows what's there in the future but i think something like that would be really really cool and Overall, I just think that they did a great job and I gave them a lot of kudos as well on how great everything just looks, feels, seems and it generally seems like the team that made archaeology, like I've been saying on stream pretty much, if you give someone a RuneScape account and let them train every single skill for like 10-15 minutes and ask them, hey, which of these skills are, there are two of these skills that are made by the exact same team or almost the same team. Which ones are they? And I think all of you would pick out archaeology and necromancy because not that they're similar in the way they function, but kind of like the soul of the skill, if that makes sense. Like that's a very abstract way of talking about it really is the same. And I think archaeology is the best skill that they have released so far. So that gives me high hope for necromancy and it's released. And I'm very curious to see what it will do for the entire meta, how it will function with new players. And I might just do a theory crafting video on that as well at some point, because I generally think it's a interesting conversation to be had regarding what the effect of necromancy could be on RuneScape in general. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this little insight and kind of point of view from me just looking into necromancy and just kind of explaining to you my train of thought when I was testing things because overall it was just fun and I kind of just wanted to see how it was as a clueless player like obviously I knew more things than I let on when it came to playing but I really tried to see it from that perspective and see if I could think of improvements for those types of players because they are the main like obviously actual pro pvmers and people that are good at the game are also aimed at with necromancy because the skill ceiling will hopefully be very high and that's what they're aiming for and it will be very complex but the start especially the main thing that we were able to test was something that is aimed at you know lesser skilled players so i really hope that i gave them good feedback and gave them good insights on that and gave you a good idea as well so if you did enjoy this video definitely leave a like let me know in the comment section down below as well is are there any other types of necromancy videos that you want to see from me obviously the ones that i can make and uh yeah let me just let me know also subscribe if you are new we're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you guys keep up this rate as it is right now because you guys are absolutely slaying it then we will definitely get there so really do appreciate all the support recently and my name is Chevalry and I shall see you guys in my next video. Good.